Hi guys, my name is Mohammad Shahzad, and today we are going to see how to create a template. So we can uh, make a one machine, and then we'll convert into a template, and that template we will use for creating a new virtual machines. So this exercise you do in the enterprise uh, infrastructure when you have to create a so many uh, VMs, like you must like so many servers, like more than uh, whatever, more than 10 or 20 or 30 you want to create. So you can make a template uh, and then that template you will use for to create a different machines. Okay, let's go. We have installed uh, in our previous videos that one uh, Windows 2019 server, it's a valuation edition. Uh, and uh, you can download from Microsoft. So we have installed and uh, you can do whatever you want to initial basic uh, things on it. Like you can install uh, the uh, .NET framework features and other features which you required in all the servers. So you can install that all in uh, one server. And after that we will, uh, you can use and they convert this system as a template. So let's see how we can convert this one uh, as a template for future use of the upcoming videos and upcoming, you know, uh, things to use. So you can use in corporate sector, uh, sector where you have to uh, install uh, bulk of machines in the same, uh, same server. So I will just do one thing. I will just uh, uh, shut down this machine because I'm going to convert into a template. So I will shut down. After I shut it down, you have to uh, come on your, let's see if it is uh, stopping a moment. Okay, it's going to shut down. We will see here, our machine is already, after this green arrow, uh, will go on like this machine and it will be stopped. Okay, so see the green arrow is gone, that it's fully shut it down. So let's do uh, to convert into a template and then we will create a machine from this template. Just right click here and uh, you can go into the clone and then you can say con clone a convert to a virtual machine, a clone to a template or a clone to a template library. See if you go on template and you can say convert to a template. So we can use uh, this machine as a template, convert to template. So I will go in the template and I'll make yes. So it will take time and it's uh, already created. Sometimes depends on a temp on a machine, how big it is. So if you go here, it will not, you cannot see templates anymore here. The machine is gone from this list. So you have to go on this and here you can see, uh, you have a bunch of templates here. See, just now we have a template here, like it's still converting. Just to wait, it will come here, 2019 server with Windows 2019-SRV01. So if I do refresh, and uh, refresh, still converting. Uh, here it shows uh, completed, but still it's under con conversion. So we will give a little time and uh, we'll see when, see, locating, uh, still it's converting. The refresh. <clears throat> so we will wait. Uh, I will wait some more minutes, and when this one is uh, already completed, so it will come here. So I'll keep refreshing, refreshing. I'll do my refresh one more time. This one. <clears throat> Okay, maybe it's come here. Okay, it's already here uh, under this uh, another folder. So this is converter, uh, converted as a template now. So you see Windows 2019 server is converted as a template. So we will create a virtual machine from this. Now you can uh, make a um, like so many machines. You can just right click and convert, uh, create a see new virtual machine from this template. 
and meanwhile in during this you can choose a machine name and some other settings you can also perform like uh, the IP address is range you can give like I will give uh, win 2019 2019 server I will say SRV 01 so this is my new I will go here okay in the discovery I'll go next the virtual machine template is selected enter a new name because we we have a same template name so i will go for like uh, dash one okay so go next so you can choose a common uh, template name so i'll go again i'll choose this server next okay, i have a free space here next yeah here you can see power on a virtual machine after creation customize the operating system customize the virtual hard hard uh, hardware for this machine machine so you can change the rams and other things during the settings and then next <clears throat> okay after this uh, i will do finish so it's creating the machine uh, for us which is operating system is installed and other features which you are uh, you required for your base image so all things are uh, there and we don't need to install reinstall and every time a new windows and everything and create a machine or something so it will take a little time meanwhile if it is creating this one you can start another one so you can uh, start multiple machines to create from this template so see it's, it's very easy and uh, very fast way to create uh, bulk of uh, servers uh, for infrastructure for our virtual machines so there is a, some other features also uh, related like you can make a, a, a file configuration file and then you can use that one also so here we see uh, when this one is completed the your machine will come here in the same here like we will go dash one see the machine is here already windows 2019 server 01 so it will take a little time to complete and uh, when it's completed then we will come back you can meanwhile like you can start another one for example i'm going to do another one so i'll say new virtual machine from this template so i will say like uh, my win 22019 uh, dash srv uh, dash 02 because the previous one was 01 so we can go here we can do here next and uh, data center same server i will go okay the iso is still connected no issues because the when we converted this this machine into a template the uh, in the um, the image was mounted in the cd drive so it's saying like that no issues this warning is okay next and you can if want to customize or not it's up to you next and finish so the another machine is started also so you can do the same uh, thing for the other machines you can create as much as you can uh, required machine see uh, srv01 srv02 both are on the way so i will pause the video when these are completed and we'll check if if everything is fine with our these servers uh, from the template which we are, have created okay guys uh, you can see our both uh, windows has been completed <clears throat> so if we see we have a server one and uh, second is server two so see how fast it is uh, to using a template in uh, vmware so i will start this one and i can give the ip address and this you can uh, we will go and power on <clears throat> So uh, as much as uh, you required uh, the servers, you can create from that template. So it will be same base. So you can change a computer name and you can change uh, like uh, other things like IP addresses and uh, other requirement and furthermore application if you want to install a different application you can go through. So you don't need to come back and install, create a virtual machine and then mount an image and then start and then uh, start installing operating systems all that steps we have eliminated so uh, we have a one base template and that template we can use for creating a virtual machine so see our uh, server is ready the password which i gave into the template that is there 
and this machine is ready to go for serve. So <clears throat> just two things, we have to change the IP, uh, the host name, because in the template was the host name was, uh, didn't change, we can say it like whatever you want and give the IP address and this machine is ready to go. So guys, this was the video related to the VMware templates. Uh, hopefully you like it. If you like, just click on like and uh, for, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming uh, videos because I'm gonna make a full series for SQL servers also administration and 2019 domain controllers and all uh, administration and engineering level Microsoft administration and engineering level videos so which can help you guys to be uh, to work in the industry so thank you very much take care stay uh, stay home stay safe thank you very much